This is the fifth state winning headlines, your media police post. In this segment, we summarize the headlines that you may have missed this morning. And we also take a look at the political pieces that we call cartoons in this country. Today is the 7th of October 2022, and I am DK. I am MC Squared. And I am GK. Yeah. In case you missed the headlines, here they are. Mm -hmm. We begin with the Daily Nation. <coughs> Bad day for graft suspects. Mm -hmm. The standard chaos in parliament as Ruto has his way. The star, battle for Kinoti's job as president overhauls security. Mm. And finally, we conclude with the People Daily. Yeah, yeah. Win for Wanjiko in war on graft. So allow me to begin our joint submission today. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The Fort Hall School of Government wishes to congratulate Dr. William Ruto for breaking history. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He went against all models of political science to hoist a wheelbarrow on the presidential flag at State House. <laughs> now, Wajakoya has hope. And this is because <laughs> Ruto has taught us that impossible is nothing. Oh. Maybe one day, Wajakoya will also hoist Bangi on the presidential standard at <laughs> State House. All this is possible because history has been broken. Yeah. yeah. But as we belatedly congratulate President Ruto, we must clarify also one fact. Ruto did not win this election. Mm. Raila lost. Mm. The presidency was Raila's, but he forgot that the battle is always hardest when victory is He's nearest. nearest yeah. Yeah. Instead of <clears throat> rolling up his sleeves and going to work, Babaman started acting like a president. He forgot that he was still a candidate. Mm -hmm. This is how Foxy Ruto grabbed the presidency from his mouth. Mm -hmm. This tragedy was recorded in history by Niccolo Machiavelli in 1516 and Wilfredo Pareto in the 1800s. Mm -hmm. The two Italian philosophers taught us that politics is a game between two sets of elites, mm -hmm. the lions mm -hmm. and the foxes. At any one time, you will either have the tribe of lions or the tribe of foxes in power. Yeah. The lions are at ease with the use of violence and force, mm -hmm. but the foxes are experts at deceit, cunningness, and manipulation. Mm -hmm. Although the lions are strong, they are defenseless against traps. Mm -hmm. And although the foxes can undo traps using the cleverness of their heads, they are defenseless against a strong pack of mm -hmm. wolves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In our politics, Uhuru and Raila represent the tribe of lions. Strong, yeah. majestic, and elegant. But they are clueless when they walk around the jungle of traps. Mm -hmm. And this is what the UDA foxes capitalized on. As Wilfredo Pareto taught us, politics is a slow <coughs> swing of the pendulum from the lions to the foxes and back. Mm -hmm. This pendulum started a slow swing from the lions to the foxes as we watched. Mm -hmm. Now, the foxes are hovering at State House with a wheelbarrow on the Commander-in-Chief's flag. Mm -hmm. And the lions <laughs> are dithering in the wilderness of bitter roots, wondering what happened. Oh. They slept through the revolution. Mm -hmm. Hats off to the foxes. foxes yeah. mm -hmm. Can I give it to them? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, although I am a statistician from uh, yeah. behind the shops, <laughs> I do have read Machiavelli. There's a unit in our statistics class of common causes in general. Mm -hmm. If GK is telling us that the UDA foxes outwitted the lions using traps, yeah. we need to bring closure to some puzzles mm -hmm. in the just concluded elections. Mm -hmm. In particular, some things about IBC and the Supreme Court they do not add up. They don't. The Republic needs answers. Mm -hmm. But before I apply my mind to this puzzle, mm -hmm. allow me to quote Machiavelli. He taught us that the end justifies the means. Mm -hmm. If you dear foxes focus used traps, lies and even negotiated with the devil, mm -hmm. they are now at state house. Yep, fact. Their means yeah. must justify their desired end. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even if they stole the election, as some Azimio people claim, their means must justify the end. Yep. Mm. They won the election, and that is what matters. Mm. And for this foxiness, we congratulate them. Mm -hmm. However, mm. in the mind of the 7 million voters who did not vote for Ruto, uh -huh. mm -hmm. and the 8 million who did not vote, 15 million, the search for truth is still lingering. Mm -hmm. And in particular, the truth around the 
IBC mm -hmm. and the Supreme Court ruling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it is important that we seek this truth if we are to purify our democracy. Mm -hmm. In his last speech as president, <coughs> Uhuru Kenyatta accused the Supreme Court's decision as lacking in correspondence mm -hmm. and in coherence. Mm -hmm. And in philosophy, the correspondence and coherence theories are used to measure the truth. Mm -hmm. yeah. The correspondence theory of truth teaches us that something is true if it corresponds with the reality that we observe. Exactly. And the reality we observed at IBC was that of a divided commission mm -hmm. dominated by a chairman with a strong head. <laughs> <laughs> Name withheld. <laughs> Instead of resolving this puzzle, the cowardly judges called it boardroom eruption, <laughs> Not yet. yet the commissioners had the truth they wanted to tell. Mm -hmm. But after the ruling, the four commissioners ran back to ABC with their tails between their legs and apologized. Mm. These actions <coughs> did not correspond with the reality we observed as a republic. Fact. The truth is hidden mm. somewhere in this puzzle. The coherence theory of truth is about consistency. The Maraga court nullified the 2017 election because of illegalities mm. and irregularities. Mm -hmm. The mother Kome court refused to nullify because of what they called hot hair uh -huh. and boardroom eruptions. Uh -huh. Maraga nullified because of process. And Kome refused to nullify because of process. process. <laughs> yeah. And if that is not coherent and consistent, mm -hmm. then the truth is still in, in the puzzle. puzzle. Ah, that's absolutely correct. Mm. What MC Squared is saying is this. We cannot reverse the 2022 election even if the truth hits us on the head. The train has left the station and Kenyans have mm. moved on. However, yeah. this is not the last election Far in Kenya. It, my friend. Mm. You will have elections until 2042 when Rigi G <laughs> retires as president <laughs> at the age of 76, <laughs> just like Moi. <laughs> yeah. And the question in the mind of the Republic is this. Will the cowardly decision of the Supreme Court come to haunt us? Mm -hmm. And will the bullish action of the IABC chairman, reinforced by the Kaome Court, <laughs> yeah. create political disorder and decay in the future. Mm. At the Foothold School of Government, we have no idea. All we know is this. Yeah. It doesn't go wrong. Mm. It, it starts, starts wrong. 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 Mm. Yeah. And the core decision is a new start in itself. Mm. Back to the flag <laughs> is a new battle. <laughs> we celebrate this achievement, mm. for sure. We created the Hustler Nation from scratch. Mm -hmm. We created the conversation around dynasties and hustlers mm -hmm. on this desk mm -hmm. right here. Then we called Ruto a chicken seller, mm -hmm. although he was selling eggs and biro pens on the streets after from four. <laughs> and we did all of this to defeat Raila four years before the 2022 election. Mm -hmm. yeah. We tried to undo what we had done, mm -hmm. but we failed. You cannot undo yourself. Fact. Fact. Now that the foxes have entered State House, we congratulate them for an incredible job of chasing the lions to the wilderness of bitter twins. <laughs> you say they were confused. <laughs> However, we must warn the Hustler Nation that the foxes and the lions are a club mm. of sorts. Mm. Mm. They are a tribe of elites who circulate in and out of State House. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if you do not believe me, read a fable by George Orwell entitled The Animal Farm mm -hmm. or Shambhala Wanyama. Yeah. Yeah. The animals in the farm began to, uh, or rather they began a hustler revolution. Mm -hmm. And like the 2022 election, they won and drove Mr. Jones out of the farm. Mm. Then they declared that all animals are equal. equal. And that is why the wheelbarrow was put on the president's flag at the farm. 
But after a few years, the mm -hmm. pigs changed the law mm -hmm. and declared that all animals are equal. Mm -hmm. But, but uh -huh. some are more equal than others. Mm -hmm. Then the pigs began to change from hustlers to dynasties. dynasties. They started drinking whiskey, uh -huh. mm -hmm. eating lamb chops, and wearing silk suits from bespoke. <laughs> mm. The government of pigs began doing what the dynasty of Mr. Jones used to do. Yeah. We congratulate the new government of hustlers, but we also warn the wheelbarrow people that very soon some animals will be more equal than others. Mm. But I have a final thought. Mm -hmm. As we welcome the swing from the lions to the foxes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. remember this. We do not see things as they are. We see them as we yeah. are. Keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. So um, we, let's uh, take a look at the headlines. And headlines. before we do, we have a three-point criteria that we here at the Winning Headlines desk use to break down the headlines for you. Mm. We ask ourselves three questions. Is the headline topical or speculative? Mm. Is it repetitive or groundbreaking? And mm. finally, is it thoughtful just or just plain, plain lazy? Plain. So let me reread the headlines for you today. Mm. The mm. Daily Nation, yeah. bad day for graft suspects. The standard, chaos in parliament as Ruto has his way. The star battle for Kinoti's job as president overhauls security and the people daily win for Wanjiko in war on graft. Yes. So we have, I think, two stories that are related, the people daily mm. and the daily nation. Mm. True. All touching the story about um, uh, Waluke and uh, others who have been indicted for serious graft allegations. Mm. Um, yes. Yeah, so what do you guys think about the headlines? <coughs> I do not like them. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like they are neither here or not there. <laughs> mm. I think they are very groundbreaking. No, they are very groundbreaking. Yes. Especially mm -hmm. with how the cases are going on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think there's uh, something to read in between those lines. Mm. So I am tempted but to... Mm -hmm. They are quite... I don't know. What do you think? Ah, let me use my powers. I'll say they're very groundbreaking, so they do meet one part of the criteria. Mm. However, um, in my opinion, we shall still toss them. Is that okay with you people? Yep. There we go. So, no winning headline. Yeah, because I say the cartoons, the headlines were boring. Mm -hmm. Let's see whether we can find some inspiration in the cartoons. Yeah. Okay, I want to so start with the star. Okay. It is a caricature of mm. the judiciary mm. with the head of a wood <laughs> tossing out papers uh -huh. that are uh, apparently case files mm. and uh, this this one is speaking into the cases and the things that have happened this week yeah. Yeah. so many cases have been dropped mm. and to this question there's one thing we must ask yeah. and it goes back to the correspondence and the coherence aspect yeah. of truth yeah. Yeah. does or do the judgments that have been done by the judiciary mm. this week mm. correspond and are they coherent mm. with our reality mm. as a nation? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I do not know. It's a question, question we have is, to ask. Is this a coincidence mm -hmm. or were these cases done the way they were done through engineering? Mm. How many cases have been dropped? I think Waititos was dropped. Mm. Yeah. I think Aisha Jumu was weakened. Yeah. yeah. And I think some MP has been mm. taken to jail. Uh -huh. If you look at that, uh -huh. is this inspiring us to like the judiciary or to doubt the judiciary? Yeah. That's the question. That we so have the mother common question is that do you think we are trusting you? Mm -hmm. Or have you forgotten that the law is blind? Mm. 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 That's the question we must ask. Mm. Coherence? Correspondence. Correspondence and consistency. And where yes. the truth is. Yes. yes. No. So, uh, Mr. MC Squared, why don't you take us through the Daily Nation? Uh, the, the Daily Nation as this MP, mm -hmm. uh, Waluke, Waluke, Waluke yes. the MP for Silesia, mm. uh, he is trying to look at where he is going to prison mm -hmm. while his head is turned towards Parliament. So uh, he's going to prison and heading to Parliament. Pal ah, that's <laughs> Good one. 
<laughs> you see, Waluke lost his appeal mm -hmm. as as uh, he was charged with a graft case yeah. you know, in moving the something. national series and mm -hmm. pro produce mm -hmm. board. Uh. Uh, the graft case was 297 million. And now he's been asked to pay? Uh, One billion in fine. Or question, question here. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Who is Waluke? Where mm -hmm. was Waluke before when yeah. his, this case started? Mm -hmm. He was in UDA. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how is Waluke supposed to go to parliament? <laughs> Through mm -hmm. Jubilee. Jubilee. Yeah. Yeah. Is this a coincidence? Or is this? Inconsistency. In <laughs> consistency. <laughs> Where is the truth with this Waluke judgment? That's the yeah. question we are forced to ask. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. Now let's move to the standard, the which standard is a very interesting, interesting. Uh, for me. So mm. nice. So it's dealing with the Ethiopian Tigray conflict. Mm. So you have a negotiation table. Mm. On one side, you have the Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed for Ethiopia. On yeah. the other side, you have the head of the TPLF. Mm -hmm. And in the middle there, you, who is the mediator, you have a mediator. who I believe is the US Special Envoy, uh, Mr. Mike Hammer. Yes. Yes, yes, uh, for the Horn of Africa, mm. and uh, he's ready to take on his role, although he looks very worried. <laughs> now, uh, Abby and the TPLF guys have not broken their stare, yeah. Yeah. but uh, Mr. Hammer is very shocked by behind him, yes. the, the Eritrean guys leader, are in. <laughs> Isaiah Skafwerki, has broken through that wall, Haraka, yeah. and uh, has come guns blazing, literally. Thanks. And thanks. he says, sorry, I'm late. Um, this is all about the Tigray conflict, but the question that we have for people to ponder this weekend mm. about this cartoon mm. is about this Mike Hammer here, sitting here in the middle. We all know that the person who was supposed to lead the mediation, or had been a big group of mediators yeah. over the next few weeks for this conflict, mm. was to be none other than Uru Uru Kenyatta. Kenyatta. Mm. Mm. And uh, William Ruto said as much. But certain things have happened, and we have to ask questions about them. Mm. Now, yesterday, William Ruto meets... Um, uh, Prime Minister Abi Ahmed, and he called him, I don't know. A genius. A genius. A genius. Yes. And then today, um, Special Envoy Mike Hammer meets with William, William Ruto, Ruto at mm. State House. At State House. Mm. Yeah. At the same time, same today, Uhuru Kenyatta announces that he is going to pull out of uh, the mediation process because of conflicts in his schedule. Mm. <laughs> so the question we're asking is, uh, are these related? The oh. law of unrelated things. There but we go. Even oh, without the law of unrelated things, uh -huh. yeah. in diplomacy there are two things. Mm -hmm. Track one diplomacy, mm -hmm. track two diplomacy. Track mm -hmm. one diplomacy is when it is declared that Uhuru Kenyatta is going to be leading the mediation. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Track two diplomacy is when Ruto visits uh, <laughs> uh, Ethiopia at night, mm -hmm. comes back during the day, meets the mediator, mm -hmm. and Uhuru pulls out. Uh -huh. Track two diplomacy is where things happen. Uh -huh. Track one diplomacy is a decoy. The mm. fox and the lion. The fox and the lion. Uh -huh. A consistency thing. Uh -huh. Everything together. Everything, yes. together. Everything together. together. So that is what you will ponder. So between the headlines, I think we can toss the Daily Nation mm. and look between the standard mm. and the star. Mm, yeah. Which one do we give our winning, head, uh, winning cartoon today? I Oof. think the star. Think Wild the goose star. chase, hot mm. air, mm. Uh, boardroom, uh, boardroom politics. Eruption. Eruption. Boardroom eruption, that's the word. Yeah. I'll give uh, it to the star. We'll give it to the star. It there to you star. have it. The star gives us our winning cartoon mm. on a day where we had no winning headline. Mm. So we'd like to remind you not to forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are also on your TV screens. You'll find us on Pang, Free to Air, Go TV, and Star Times. But before we conclude today's episode, mm. I would like to th um, throw over the reins to Mr. DK himself, <laughs> who has a very simple quote to tell people. Because we've been talking about hot air. Uh -huh. And Waluke facing, uh, heading to parliament and going to, uh, to prison. Mm. I think the quote of this weekend is To my friends, everything, and to my enemies, hello. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>